Let's talk about five ways to get more people to play your game. If you're struggling to get your first 10,000 players, this video is going to be great for you. Let's start with number one. The best way to get people to play your game is just to make a really good game. If you make a really good game, people are going to tell their friends, talk about it on social media, and basically do a lot of the marketing for you. But how do you know if you've made a good game? Well, with GDevelop, you can go into your game dashboard and check your game analytics. As long as you've published your game somewhere and you have some amount of players, you'll be able to check the bounce rate, basically how many players join and then leave immediately, and then check to see how long they've been playing for. And a good graph for your game could be different based on the kind of game you have, but generally, if lots of your players are sticking around to the 15 minute mark, you know that you've made a good game. So let's say you've made a good game, but you still want more players. Well, the second way of going about it is also pretty obvious, but it's important to say, because a lot of developers don't do it. And that's to post your game everywhere. The people who buy games from Steam or the Epic Game Store are probably different than the people who would buy from Itch or GOG. So if you only post in one store, you're missing out on the bigger audience you could have. For desktop games, especially those that are paid, you can post your game on Steam, the Epic Game Store, Game Jolt, Itch, Humble, GOG, and a bunch more places. If your game is a free browser game, you can post it on Itch, Game Jolt, Newgrounds, or GD.Games, GDevelop's game hosting platform. And if you want to get paid, Crazy Games, Cool Math Games, Pokey, Game House, Congregate. And then if you have a mobile game, you're sort of limited to Google Play, Apple App Store, and the Amazon App Store, but you can post your mobile game on sites like Itch with limited results. Posting your game to these different platforms takes time, but you'll be exposing it to a much wider audience. And then the third way is really important, and that's to understand the platform you're posting your game on. How do games on that site gain traffic? For the majority of them, it's based on reviews or number of times played, but different platforms will have their own different quirks. Like with Steam, for example, Steam is not going to organically share your game until it has 10 reviews from paying users. You really need to push hard for that first launch to get those first 10 reviews. And then on Game Jolt, for example, they have a partner system. So influencers, YouTubers, marketers, whoever, can share your game with a link and get a portion of your sales. And on Game Jolt, in order to gain much traction, you really need to post your game into the communities they have there, which is pretty unique because most stores don't have that, but it's a quirk of that platform. On Newgrounds, you really want to get featured in order to gain traction. And on GD Games, the games are sorted by popularity, but you can try to get showcased by filling out a form from this drop-down menu. So knowing the quirks of the platform you're using is obviously important. Knowing what sort of things you need to do as a developer to get that platform to share your game. But then it comes down to the fourth way, which is to make it pretty. Have the best thumbnail you can possibly get, Really attractive promo art can do a lot of heavy lifting. Use GIFs and videos of gameplay. People notice and are more likely to click on things that are in motion. And finally, it's a good idea to crank up the saturation a little bit, as well as the contrast, to make things pop and stand out even more. And now that you've done all of those things, number five is about the legwork. Social media. You can start by reaching out to influencers who already have an audience, but then once you've done that, it's time to put the legwork in yourself. I do suggest though that you start with GDevelop. If you're creating the game with GDevelop, consider that your home base. Post in the subreddit, on Discord, or use hashtag GDevelop when you're posting on Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, anywhere. And then I would suggest Reddit. If your game is free and of good quality, you can check out our free games, our play my games, and our web games, if the game is a web build. Then if your game is a paid game, you can try posting on our indie dev, our indie gaming, or look for a subreddit that's built around the themes in your game, whether that's speedrunning or shooting or whatever. Hopefully by knowing these things, you'll be able to find more players for your game. But if you're struggling with way number one, and the quality of your game just isn't there yet, check out this video about things you should always do in your game.